Hi everyone. Um, I've just gone to a website called CG Trader and downloaded some models, miscellaneous models, and I thought we would do a quick overview of pulling in those models to a 3JS scene and moving them around and just seeing if we could create something interesting from that. So yeah, welcome back to Robot Bobby. Okay, uh, first thing I want to do is import the obj loader uh actually it's called yeah. and down here i'll instantiate it saying uh, const loader is equal to a new obj loader and it's not going to have any manager at all associated with it i'm just going to say loader dot load and then pass in a function that will be triggered once it's loaded. Uh, that's the OBJ. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna init our scene. No, no, not int. Init our scene with the OBJ dot children, maybe? You know, I'm not sure. Something, OBJ dot scene dot children no that's not it either I have to cheat and, and look at uh, a previous time I did this I could just init it with that all right we're gonna do that without cheating um, I want to indent my current fun stuff here like that so that I can wrap it with this function definition uh, that's gonna take our obj Okay, and there. Well, first thing I need to do though is to console.log our obj file because I, I actually don't know what the data. Oh, it blew up. Does anyone know why it blew up just, just without even looking at it? Loader.load. Oh, I think I need something around here, maybe curly braces. What do you think? Is that it? Not enough. No. That's not it. Um, gosh, it's going to be something obvious, isn't it? It's not that. What is it? Well, let's just see. Tools, browser tools, web developer tools. Here's our console. Oh, there's no errors at all. There's nothing calling our init. Well, this is, this is calling it, isn't it? Um, why isn't this working? Save it. Oh, look, look, there's a, there's a problem. Kit bash. Oh, I didn't tell it what to load. Oh, I'm, I'm so, the path to the loading thing. It's in assets. Slash calls, slash CG trigger, slash dash play, slash OJ, slash A, or whatever, one dot A, comma. Okay. So that's not breaking. I actually have something loading now. By the way, that whole ridiculous path I just typed out, uh, I have that set up in my project space. So I have uh, an assets folder that has a models folder that has a CG trader folder, a kit bash, OBJ. Wow. And then there's all this stuff in here. I actually, let's have a look at what that looks like. That's kind of boring. What if we got in um, something else that's a little bit more interesting like that? That's interesting. It looks like a flower thing. Oh, I like, I like this one. Nope, I like this one better. Nope, I like this one better. It's A10. So let's load in A10. And... I'm getting this log out here, so I want children zero dot geometry. I think that's what I want. Does this have a geometry property? It does. So this is sort of ridiculous too. Slightly hacky. Children zero dot geometry. So now when I log that out, obj dot children child. 
Okay, I'm getting the, just the geometry, which is imported as a buffer geometry. So now I'm going to change this to geometry. And I don't need that definition anymore. And now we'll have that thing like that. Isn't that neat? Can't see anything. Let's just replace this material. A couple things we could do. We could replace it with a mesh standard material instead. And that's interesting looking. Also, let's get rid of that rotation. I don't really need that right now. Um, I want to do that manually. Let's call this mesh. I think that looks more clear. I'm going to do it manually uh, in my God, it must be late. In my VS Code, I've set up some shortcuts. I could just type orbit and import orbit controls. I want that to be 143. So I'm not pulling in multiple versions of 3JS. And I can type orbit init. And that inits those controls. Now I can use my mouse to kind of move that around. I'm seeing a lot of aliasing here on the edges of this geometry. Also, it looks horrifyingly shitty. I'm just gonna copy this and give myself another, let's see, fill. Okay, um, let's move this to Y is negative two. And let's move that to X is positive one. Just scoot it over a touch. We could even uh, make it a little more cooler color. Wow, or a lot cooler color. And uh, yeah, so anyway, I didn't I didn't address the aliasing that I see on the side. I'm gonna do that by anti-alias. It's true. Let's see if that makes a difference. Do you guys see a difference there? Sort of. Anyway, I've just imported this thing. I don't like this material as it stands right there. A quick change just for preview's sake. We could uh, pull in a mesh normal material. Oh, that looks better. Just for quick viewing purposes. That's interesting too, isn't it? Um, oh, another thing we could try would be a matte cap material. That might look really juicy. I can't resist trying a matte cap material. Um, but for the matte cap, mesh matte cap material, did I spell that right? I hope. It needs a, a matte cap. And I'm going to say um, texture loader. So is a new three dot texture loader dot load and then give it a uh, textures slash map map cap slash move it all from make all black and shiny uh maybe textures map caps. Oh that's it. Look! Oh isn't that beautiful? That black and shiny looks really good on this guy, and I don't see any of that aliasing anymore. Let me just remove this thing and see if we see it now. No, I don't see it really. Oh my god, that looks so good. Oh, I'm really pleased with how that looks. How are we doing on time? That was 10 minutes. That's it. I just recorded a video of importing a model purchased online in OBJ format using the OBJ loader and then I slapped a matte cap material on there. Um, I bet you're thinking what would a what would a silver matte cap material look like? It would look like that. Isn't that beautiful? It look you get this reflection for free. Oh it looks like a hubcap. Black, to black and shiny is just so beautiful. Thanks so much 
uh, for, for tuning in. See you next time.